Hi, it's Vi. I'm kind of sick, so I feel like tired and stuff, that's why. But I haven't made a vlog in a long time. But I started cleaning my uh, studio space because it was like very cluttered because it turned into like my room turned it my room is like my studio and my bedroom <clears throat> so it just turned into like my giant depression room and yeah this vlog is me cleaning at least the studio portion of it <laughs> so i can work on art again and like film it but yeah um i'll talk more about where i've been later but for now let's uh get on with it <laughs> At the start of the month, I hung out with my bestie. We went to Daiso. We also checked 99 Ranch and checked out the mooncake designs. I found a few Sakura Matcha snacks. Since we both have never had souffle pancakes, we went to this cafe to try it since it was one of the few ones open. I got the matcha because I thought it would be safe because I like matcha, but it was really bitter. It's like when you steep tea for a really long time and it brings out the bitterness. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that good, but the the decor was very cute. After the souffle pancake situation, we went and got more tea. I got this lychee dragon fruit freeze, and we also got some chili cheese fries. Hi, it's Thai. <laughs> or hello, it's Thai's hand. So, I miss vlogging, and I figured I would document this and try to do streaming your vlogs again. But this is what I'm working with. <laughs> Um, so, I think most of you guys that watch me know that 2020, I mean 2020 was hard for everyone, but I feel like I've gone in a hiatus mode of like, um, on and off of working on things, and I haven't been that, like, consistent. I'm trying my best to get back to where I was in 2019, because remember I was supposed to set up my shop and all that stuff, and then 2020 happened, and then my dad passed away, and then my mom got sick, and then I had to, like, a lot of stuff got dumped on me of having to take care of because my brother couldn't do it because he has a normal 95 and I also have like really bad anxiety disorder and stuff so like I know it's hard for people who don't have it <laughs> to understand but like getting through like something it takes a lot out of me I think the big part of it was because I had to take care of all of the stuff for my mom and obviously like things for my dad after he passed. But yeah, especially for my mom. I don't know, I think it was like that anxiety of like having someone's life in your hands when it's like I don't even have my own life in check in my own hands, you know? Because <laughs> like I'm trying to str uh, get through life and figure things out for myself. So then having that like pushed on me of taking care of someone else and if you're doing things for someone else and then because it's like health related and it like obviously gave me a lot of anxiety and spooked me too because it's like a whole person's life in my hands so yeah took a very long hiatus i think um i mean i still drew but yeah, i feel like nowadays the most i do is like occasional art stream and then my thigh doodles that i try to do yeah, so this is where we're at. <laughs> my, um, I'm gonna show you a portion of it, but this is my like depression room, or depression studio slash room. But uh, yeah, so today I'm trying to clean this area and make space for the new printer that I got. Thanks to slimes, thank you guys. <laughs> um, I also got a silhouette because of you guys for my birthday. Thank you, thank you again as well. Um, but yeah, I haven't set them out because I don't know. My brain's been all over the place because life, but now is the time that I am choosing that we're gonna get everything back together. We've had like a long time of ups and downs of like, I would have moments of where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this again and we're gonna get all of this done and then I get kind of like sucked back down by life happenings. 
but we are manifesting <laughs> and we're not letting things or outside factors get in the way so yeah this is my desk my art desk do you guys remember when i built this <laughs> um yeah it's a it's a mess there's like not there's art stuff but then there's other things on here like my makeup or i don't know some water <laughs> and yeah um there's some soda cans don't judge me please it's been a mentally having a bad time but we're trying our best to pick ourselves up again it's been a while but yeah this is a i mean i started my animal crossing series on my gaming youtube <laughs> if you want to check that out and i also still i still have consistently streaming on twitch so that's like the only like thing that's somewhat consistent but not really because my schedule is not really consistent <laughs> um but i'm trying like uh, we do have genshin days and monster hunter days still i need to figure that out as well of um fitting in art days again because remember i used to stream art twice a week or i would do art first and then swap to a game so maybe i should do that maybe my genshin days won't be genshin pure genshin days maybe it'll be art day and genshin day but yeah anyways i am trying to clean my room right now because i need to tidy up my desk because i do kind of miss doing art traditional art streams as well so i need to obviously clean my desk area oh, i had to get rid of my old printer too my desk has a whole bunch of like paperwork because of a bunch of papers that i have piled up because of helping with my mom and dad stuff my my whole desk that was meant for my art is just like cluttered with paperwork but yeah i should sort those hopefully i can be consistent with art vlogs again or vlogs you know, for a moment, I did also upload, like, EGL hauls, but I was thinking of putting that on a separate channel, and then just leaving this YouTube as my art one. My art slash life vlog one, and then I have the gaming channel now, too. But, anyways, I just wanted to update you guys. This desk is what my life is. <laughs> My, I mean, I have my room is like a whole depression room, and it's a thing that I need to tackle. But this is just a snippet of what it's looking like. This is what my mental space headspace has been looking like for the past two years. Anyways, um, or not even two. It's like two and a half now. Yikes. But yes, yeah, so we're picking ourselves up, and then we're getting things together, cause we we got goals. Oh yeah, I started watching studio vlogs again. I checked up on BLEJ. She was one of the ones that I used to watch when I was like in my zone. So I just decided to check up on her and I just realized she she moved. And her new place looks really cute. Also, I I think I like her a lot because the way that she does her vlogs is very similar to I feel how I do mine compared to a lot of other uh, YouTuber art YouTubers. Also, she Twitch streams as well, so another thing we have in common. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty cool. She got a new house. It looks amazing. Love you, it looks amazing. Hashtag manifest goal. <laughs> okay, anyways. Now I go back to cleaning. There's a bunch of files under here, and I finally have gotten to my stuff under all the paperwork. Uh, okay, so I'm like so out of it that <laughs> I was like, oh, what's in here? And like, obviously I saw like lashes, but then in here was shoved, um, accessory for my EGL fashion, and it's for my tea time a la carte, because mine didn't come with a head bow, but I f found the sell a pet bow on closet child for really cheap so i bought it and i don't know so that's been me like past few months where i just buy something and then i'm like oh okay and then i shove it somewhere <laughs> instead of putting it where it should be so that's what i mean by like my brain has not been what it used to be like it's a very scattered brain speaking of i actually have a package from angelic pretty from like a few months ago when um the 
Is it Cream Soda Mermaid? Well, that one came out. I bought the headband with some socks, but I haven't opened the package yet. So that is another example of what I mean by, like, my brain is not here. And maybe I shouldn't be buying stuff, but... I mean, I, I stopped buying things, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. I actually do also have a few head bows, like, scattered around my room from other releases that I, I haven't gotten around to, like, putting away, and that's pretty bad, too. So I shall do that later, but I'll put them in a pile, and I'll organize those. And then, <laughs> Hope sent me something, too. I forgot if it was for Christmas? Maybe? <laughs> but she got it from one of the events. Like, they had a grab bag, and she sent me a bunch of accessories. And yeah, the bag has been sitting on my desk, and I haven't put those away either, so yeah. I will get to that today, hopefully. I remember, because I did make that vlog where I bought this new furniture and I built it, remember? <laughs> well, this is the state of one of the shelves right now. <laughs> I need to reorganize it. And then I have a bunch of makeup and uh, skincare that I need to organize. And then I have more letters to organize. Those are like the more active ones, so I put them here. But I need, I need like something else to arrange these things, organize these things. And then this brown storage. Because my makeup is bulky, I don't get into it that often. But I am thinking of thinking of uh, moving it over here, um, where the games are. I think it should fit. My pencil cases. I love that pencil case from Swimmer. It's lasted me years. Thank you, Kel, for getting it for me. I have the slime uh, teapot and teacup that I haven't used yet. And I totally knocked over a bunch of my games. But okay, I need to try to move these things out of the way. Hello, Milo. Barking. Because there's an ice cream truck outside. It barely just fits. I moved. This over here, I got this drawer unit from Ikea. Uh, I'm out of breath because it's really hot too. Can, this is like miscellaneous stuff. Oh, hey, I got some Pokemon cards. But yeah, this is miscellaneous stuff that I just kind of dumped in here. And here, more miscellaneous stuff. I need to go through it, but hey look, I <laughs> got a tech deck. Gotta do that. Yeah, this is a bunch of um, stuff I should get rid of, too. I'm keeping a ticker though, because it's something my dad got me. <laughs> so, but for now, he's gonna go in there. Ugh, I'm sorry, ticker. In here, I have some accessories. I had to take these top drawers off so I could make it a little less heavy and grab it to bring it over, but... Look, I found a kazoo. <laughs> a good atomic kazoo. I actually forgot I had this. See, this is a problem with idle, out of sight, out of mind. Also a little ham ham. I also have a bunch of capsules of my prizes from Capsule Corner that I'm supposed to do a giveaway for. <laughs> we have Sailor Venus. Yeah, I just have a bunch of- oh hey, I have a monster- <laughs> Hey, look, I have a monster hunter pin in here. Then we got some old pain markers I should probably get rid of if they don't work. I had these for a long time. Has some random things in here too. We have the GameCube memory card, even though we don't have a GameCube anymore. Got a wireless kit from my old uh, Wacom into us 5 That was janky. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them away and dust this off. The only thing is, this art that I did in Kooling. It was supposed to be a print, but I I had issues with that teacher, so I ended up dropping out. But I actually did like it. Maybe I should redo it someday. It was like a horror print, inspired by like, ukiyo-e and stuff. But yeah, it goes all the way down. We have a spooky lady down there. And another spooky lady crawling out. You know, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but I showed the plastic bits that are supposed to stick to a wall into the little hole. Into the little hole, so now that- now you can see the strawberry peek out. So it looks a little cuter. Also, I found some art within the paperwork. I actually like this watercolor a lot. 
I think I want to frame it. Yeah, it's one of the one of my more favorite pieces. I put a little fake candle here too. <laughs> Actually, got the candle for my capsule corner show. If you remember, actually, I don't know if I edited that one. Actually, I didn't because I edited my first one, but not my second one yet. So yeah, I guess that's a work in progress. But I bought a bunch of these candles for taking photos, and um, now I just have a bunch of them. But I have one out here, so it's a uh, add some ambience. So I put away most of the papers. I filed them, but I need to find all the space to put them right now. But um. Yeah, I need to label them as well, but I want to get like one of those bigger folders to have them all in one place, but I just have a few of the small thin ones from Daiso for now. Well, I got through the pile that was on here, <laughs> but yeah, I have a few things knickknacks to put away, but I do have a lot of pouches because I love pencil cases and stuff. It's one of my favorite things. I'll try to clean the spot tomorrow because, uh... Try not to get overwhelmed. But for the most part, this area is clean. I just need to put away a few things. I had Spongebob Squiggle Pants out. My friend James worked on this game. And during the signing for the Adventure Time game, I brought this for him to sign. <laughs> but yeah. It's a good game. If you like, um... If you like mini games and like stuff like WarriorWare, it's like that, but with Spongebob. <laughs> it's actually a pretty cute game. But yeah, that's where we're at for today, this little corner. And then we have lots of other little things we don't need to clean, like our drawer. <laughs> but that will be for another day. You can probably tell, but I don't like enjoy cleaning. But if I can do a little bit a day, an area a day, I'm sure we can like tackle everywhere, every place in my room. Maybe we'll clean this stuff tomorrow, as well as the area where I want to put the printer, but we'll see. Okay. You know how I was saying that, like, I'm really bad at, like, opening things that I get? So, if they're, like, not bills or something, like, that, <laughs> I, like, it kind of, like, slips my mind. Because I'm, like, sc very scatterbrained. But, yeah, so I think I got this mail, like, a year ago? This is August 2021. Yeah, I got this a year ago, because it's August right now. But, um... Yeah, I'm sorry, Mina, that I didn't open it until now. I'm so sorry, Mina. But yeah, my friend Mina Bites, she streams on Twitch. Well, she doesn't nowadays lately, but she did open her shop last year. And you can get stickers and prints from her and a lot of other things from her, too. Thank you, Mina, for the sticker. Sorry for, like, the year later open. <laughs> so yeah, I found the letter piled with all the bills and paperwork I had to do for my mom. <laughs> And a few other things, so yeah, meal time. Thank you, Mina. Thank you for the year later sub. <laughs> I'm the worst, but thank you. I'm streaming at the moment. Hi, slimes. <laughs> but I'm doing art, and I'm working on the fire doodles. And then um, I wanted to clean up some of them and make a sticker set, so that's what I'm doing. Sorry, trying to clean this area out, and I'll show you my book. Oh, I was pulling stuff out, and this sucks, but this notebook has a plastic cover, and it, I don't know, the ink just stuck to it, so now this cover, the zine that I was part of is, like, messed up. Yeah, this is a Pokemon zine that I was part of. I thought we were supposed to make, like, an actual card we do, but all the people did illustrations, so then I was like, oh, did I do the assignment wrong? But you know, it's your interpretation. This one's mine, it's in the back. <laughs> but I actually made it an actual card, because that's what I thought it was. I felt like weird when it was uh, announced, and I just saw a bunch of illustrations, and I was like, oh, oh, I see. Also, it has my old Tumblr that I don't use anymore, so, yeah. A lot of cool art, though. Oh, 
<laughs> I was like, oh, is this Byron? It is. Byron B. Probably. You probably know him from all the Pokemon illustrations he does. Yeah, I actually met a lot of these people on Tumblr. And yeah, it's like, wow, everyone's like grown up to do something. Except for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, everyone's talented. Man, Tumblr, Tumblr time was a different time. What great networking for artists. Now we're on Twitter and Instagram, but like Twitter and Instagram algorithms are like really weird. So I don't know how to make artist friends. Other than like on Twitch is where I make my friends nowadays, but even then. I don't think I only have a handful of artist friends, but yeah. I am sorry, book. Yeah, this looks the notebook plastic got stuck onto it, so it ripped out some of the ink. F. But I found this in the pile. I don't know why it was there, but it's a cute little bear dish I got from Daiso. I'm probably gonna use it to display. Um. Also, look at this cute card. <laughs> uh, I fell one day when I was out, and my friend ran in to buy me a band-aid. I thought that's all he was gonna buy, but then he came out with this card too, and it says, So sorry to hear about your accident. Sending sunny smiles to cheer you up, and wishing you more of everything that will help you get strong. Move forward and feel better. <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what else do I have? I have a Moomin notebook that I haven't used because it's too cute. Oh, I have a... I have some children's books. I have this one as a polyworld. <laughs> it's one dollar, a book off. I got this really cute children's book too. Inai, Inai, Ba! It's like, Ba! I mean, it's like the surprise part. <laughs> it pops up too, it's really cute. Okay, so it says, Kawaii Koneko, Inai, Inai. There's no cute kitten and then and then and then oh god ah, surprise there he is it's like um that game what is it in english it's like peekaboo it's like that and then koinu mo Nakoyopu. Inai inai. And then, bah! Got him. <laughs> yeah, it just goes on and on. There's a bunny, and then, bah! <laughs> if I had two hands, this would be better, but it's pretty cute. Bam! Bam! Surprise! <laughs> oh, little squirrel. <laughs> oh, little chick. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite children's books because it's so cute. Yeah, got this book, this Pokemon children's book too. I thought it was cute. All the illustrations. Oh yeah. There's a slime children's book that I want to buy too. Maybe someday. This book is basically like, god dang, there's a lot of poly rolls. <laughs> yeah, those are some books I have in my bookshelf. Oh, I have my uh, checking in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Ego death. Sweet talk. Um, because it's basically teaching how to English, <laughs> English in the, on Twitter, but then I use it the opposite way where it's like, um, what's the slang of Japanese on Twitter, you know? It's actually pretty cool. Um, then I was obsessed with mascots for a while. It also comes with, um, stickers. And then I used to love Yanana. I heard, I heard she went down a, a bad, uh, bad road. <laughs> Rip in pieces. It just has a collection of like the various mascots in Japan. 
This is pretty old now, though. Oh, yeah, this is, um... Oh, yeah, I'm trying to do some fashion sketches. And then this was mostly my, uh, gesture drawing book. So, we have a lot of these, like, stick figures that I was trying to get the motion and stuff. I'm, like, practicing. Oh, and a lot of booties. <laughs> There's just a lot of figure drawing, so... <laughs> but yeah, I should use it again. And then, oh, we have a copy of Rodney Fun that my friend James got me. But I already have a copy, a signed copy that I got from Rodney Greenblatt's shop a while ago. So I was holding on to this in case I wanted to do a giveaway. Um, Monster Hunter pencil board, notebook, a uh, sketchbook for my friend. I actually have a lot of zines and stuff I keep here, so yeah, I have a sketchbook, and then a zine I was part of, another zine I was part of, <laughs> um, oh, fashion catalog, another zine I was part of, <laughs> this one also had the same fate, I think, of the plastic cover, I need to not put that notebook there, I think, because it just sucks the ink out. But, you look for mine. Oh. Yeah, this is a Pokemon zine about glitches, and I got the the D4 glitch. So this was my piece. That was fun. I miss, I miss doing zines. I love the con- I like the concept of this zine a lot. That was fun. The rip. <laughs> the Kinikos. Mew Cart Rates of the Sketchbook. And then I have a Dark Stalkers art book. Thank you. A uh, Saber One, I think, gave it to me. And then a Capcom illustration as, as well. I have another meal that I haven't opened because I think I, at that time I also was going through a rough time. It's from Family Case, so they mailed. Um, the family case catalog for that year and I never opened this package. <laughs> Maybe I'll do an opening sometime. I have my Terror Battle calendar too. Rip Terror Battle. I love that game. I got it signed. I got Kimihigo Fujisaka to sign it but I asked him to draw Grace from a Terror Battle because she was my full first pull but also my name is Grace and she's a bow user so it was very <laughs> Appropriate, but yeah, I uh, have that there too. Some pieces to her battle. I was supposed to do a story time for the anime expo for this year where I had a whole shenanigans for this um, signature. Yeah, <laughs> I will tell that story time someday. I cleaned one area of my room, but then I started cleaning all over, and this is why I hate cleaning. <laughs> I'm trying to find a box. To put stuff and that's when i found like a bunch of egl fashion stuff that i need to put away too i have to put away some stuff from daiso and some stuff i got from a crane machine <laughs> and a birthday present from my friend sky <laughs> uh, that's what i mean when i say my brain is scatterbrained and it's been pretty scatterbrained since 2020 where i don't I haven't put stuff away that I've got, and I need to. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's why we're trying to clean up this up. Yeah, I did it though. I found a box to put things. I just need to dump everything into this box to get it off of the table, and then and then I'll put them all in their place. I did it. I cleaned the top of the shelf. But also, I have shoved stuff in here, and my floor is a mess. But progress, progress. It's very hot and it's summer, so you're gonna hear the fan again. I was gonna put my printer here because it's pretty uh, wide, but I was thinking, since this is like by my bed and stuff, I was thinking instead I would move all of these things over to that spot instead because that's like my living area, and then I'll keep the printer here with all my art supplies because this is still a mess. I haven't cleaned it, but. 
Yeah, all my traditional art supplies are here. Yeah, my plan is to keep them all together, you know? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I need to organize these washies and put them away. Also, like, I think because my accessories are here, it's hard for me to reach them sometimes that I don't really wear them that often. Uh, or I don't reach for them that often because they're kind of like hard to reach and blocked. But if the printer was here, it's just one giant thing. And I would just be printing from it, so it's not like anything in the way. So, yes, that's my plan, I think. clear out the whole area because I needed the whole area but there it is my room is more of a mess now but I figured I would put the printer out first and see where I can put things um I still have to put the ink in and then we have a charger here too I'm actually the worry the plug isn't going to be long enough for where the printer is but I'm hoping that it'll work out this here because i don't want this vlog to be any longer thank you slime family for the support always and thanks for hanging out take care stay cute bye